everyone welcome back to my channel it's Sam Place. if you are new here my name is Sam and today we are on day four of Cozy Grove um, I am starting to really love this game I just love that I only need to play it for about 30 to 45 minutes it is a super nice break from Animal Crossing I'm newer to Animal Crossing, so I definitely don't have a burnout of Animal Crossing yet, but um, it's definitely nice to not have to worry about decorating or things like that, and just sort of come here, talk to the friendly ghosts of the island, and just do some daily things, and that's about it. So, yeah, we are, like I said, on day number four. And we'll see what things we have going on today. I am hoping to expand the flame and meet new people today. I'm hoping we get enough logs uh, to feed Flamey. So uh, we'll find out. After the last video, I believe I upgraded my house. I changed my outfit. I decorated a little bit. Um, not too, too much, but was just trying to get more essence points for my friend here. He is just so cute. Um, so yeah, I just, I just think he's so adorable. Okay, it looks like he's hungry. I believe I have some food in my storage. Let's see. Yep. Here we go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and feed him. Come here, little guy. Um, okay, let's see if I can get the food in my hand. No, I don't want that. I want to feed him. Can I not feed him? Okay, pet. But I would like to feed him. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently I can't feed him right now, so <laughs> we might go ahead and drop this. Um, X. Perfect. We'll leave it there for now. Okay, so let's go see who needs us today. We have Charlotte. I've seen you digging out there, camper. Not to knock Jeremy, but the shovel he gave, gave you seems a bit flimsy. He never had proper wilderness training. Doesn't know how to reinforce a tool with spirit. How to do what now? Don't be embarrassed. A lot of scouts never learn that skill. Luckily, I'm an old hand at it. Here's a list of ingredients. Bring them to me and I'll make you a shovel that can dig a latrine in seconds flat. No rush, of course. I've got a whole pot of tea to drink. Okay, so we need... Okay, charred fish bone. I don't even know if I have fish, so... Um... Let's find out here. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, I guess I will go do some fishing. So let's go ahead and go down here. Do we have any fish here? Probably should grab my fishing pole. Okay, let's go find some fish. We've got more spirits calling for me. I've been using these lamps to try to expand the flame. Oh, here we go. We got a fish. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Okay. Okay, you're not a fish. Igloo crafting recipe. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. I kind of really wish I had a fish, but that's okay. We'll get through it, I suppose. Alright. I guess we'll sort of see what we also have here. Oh, wow. Lots of fish. Okay, I'm down for this. Fishies. Here, fishy fishies. Flatfish. 
I just love how easy fishing is, to be honest. Oh my god, another fish just popped up. Like, definitely way easier than Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go this way a little bit. And I've noticed it only goes four times like if, so if you do it the three and they haven't bit yet usually that fourth one they're gonna bite so I have noticed that don't mind my squeaky chair <laughs> all right so I think we have what five fish now so that's pretty nice. All right, let's go see who we have over here. Perfect. Can I help you with something? Hey there, stamp champ. I'm glad you stopped by. Have you noticed any imps running around with a bubble over their head? Yes, what is that? I applaud your keen observation. Those are hungry imps. They are crying out for something to eat, but imps are very picky. Will only eat a specific item they are craving. If you feed it to them, they'll happily give you something in return. I mention this because one of those hungry imps made off with a letter of mine. I was hoping you can get it back for me. So would you like me to tell you the secret to feeding? Yes, feeding hungry imps. Please. Hungry imps are craving a particular item to eat. They'll show you what they crave with a bubble over their head. Don't just walk up to a hungry imp. They will get scared and vanish. Keep your distance so the imp, imp is comfortable. When you'll need to throw the item they crave to them. Hold the item in, the, in your hand. Hold ZR in a direction. Then release the throw. If the item lands near the imp, they should eat it. If you miss, don't worry. You can pick the item up and try again. After the hungry imp imp eats the item they will show you their happiness with a heart you can tap a happy imp to approach and they'll give you something as thanks come back when you've gotten my letter back from that hungry imp okay i noticed that last night like so many of them i had one with like a potato and things like that and i was like i have no idea what is happening so thank you <laughs> Now I know. All right, let's see if we can get that one all the way out there. Whoa! <laughs> I overshot that one a little bit. All right, that is seven fish. All right, we got one over here now. Just a little guy. I have not really noticed either though, like if the bigger shadows mean better paying fish. I honestly have not really paid attention, so I'll have to do that next time to see, but yeah. You could probably hear my vibrations here <laughs> in the microphone, I apologize. Okay, let's see how many fish we have now. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. Okay. I also have a, um, where is it at? Do I not have it here? Oh, here we go. Here's the machete, which can chop those guys down. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out what bushes they were. Um, but yeah, so it looks like none of them are hungry.
Oh, we got one more fish. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this fish quick. Perfect. I hope all of these will do. I don't know if that will, <laughs> but we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, let's see what Francesca Duclaw wants today. My trees and I have decided that we like you, little fauna. Oh, they like me. You have an arboreal quality. My friend Kipling found an unusual sheet stuck between his pages, er, leaves. When I saw it, I thought to myself, perhaps it belongs in that scout's forest. Please take it with my gratitude. Ooh, okay. Scout book page. I'm all about that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, see, there's an imp with the mushroom. Do I have a mushroom? Oh, I do. Okay. Hold in hand. And we don't want to scare it. Oh, that was like much easier than I had anticipated. Oh, and I found the letter. <laughs> okay, well, let's go give this to, uh, is it, I never remember her name. Patrice. Am I, it might be Patrick. I don't know. I'm going to go the whole game and not really figure this out, but. <laughs> I bet the hungry imp was pleased. You fed them. Did it give you anything else in return? Nothing. Hmm, I think you're pulling my leg. I've never heard of a hungry imp being ungrateful when you feed them. Since we're talking about imps, I should tell you about imp essence. Hungry imps often drop essence and appreciation. It's handy for crafting food and other useful things. Well, I hope that was useful. Talk to you later. Very cool. Ooh, another log. Yay, we got more spirit wood. Oh. Guys, this color still gets me, like, every time. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh, let's go ahead and check our mail. I forgot about that. I'm not the sort of to become alarmed, but we found bits of a little boat wrecked on the shore. It looked a lot like your boat. Haha, <laughs> adventure. Am I right? Don't worry. If you are lost for too long, we'll come out to get you. Almost certainly. Scoutmaster Blake. One common log, cabin, and table. Okay. Cool. All right, let's dig this guy up here as we're walking right by it. Let's go ahead and burn these fish. Uh, but here's a log. Okay, I want to burn something. Let's go ahead and burn this fish. Ooh, nice. So I gotta do this for all of the fish. So it actually gives you more than I was anticipating. Okay. Some do, some don't. Yay. All right. And do we have them all? Let's see. We do. Okay. Let's go back here. Nope. I don't want that. I want to talk. <laughs> oh. Oh, did I do it? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we got a metal shovel, a common log cabin chair, and a street lamp. Ooh, yay. I 
we got a coin over here just hanging out all right let's go ahead and put some stuff down all right let's go ahead and put this table I did not want to do that goodness gracious X Oh, that's just the littlest little table ever. I was expecting it to be this big thing. Uh, maybe we'll set it in this corner here. All right, so let's go back. Place here. And then we'll also place this chair. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, like another little seating area. And we do have another lamp. Let's go ahead and maybe put this out here so we can expand the light a little bit more. Oh, see, there's another hungry imp light. Yay. Okay. We got a mushroom. Do I have a mushroom? I do not. All right, let's go ahead and split one and put this in my backpack. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that in storage. Let's learn, can I learn this? No. Okay. I might be able to learn it here. Yeah, okay. We're gonna learn this recipe in igloo. One branch, two softwood, four charred fish bone. Some odd ingredients for an igloo. Okay, let's go ahead and give this imp. No, don't run away, little guy. No. He doesn't look to be hungry anymore. Okay. We'll come back. Let's go see who else we have to help out. Sai, I see that I'm back to being blue and transparent. It's like wearing a neon sign that says, look at Jeremy Gruffle. He really messed up his life. It makes me mad. Burning mad. So mad that I could melt iron. Iron ingot. Make it by burning any iron ore with flamey. I think I have iron in my storage. I think. I do. Okay. Split one and let's take this and put it in here. This is what happens when I just hoard everything. <laughs> and I did the same thing in Animal Crossing. In the beginning, I just literally hoarded everything. All right, let's go here. Yay, we can make ingots. Oh, another log. Yay. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Sweet. Let's go ahead and give it fillet me the log. I don't remember how many more we need. Is this it? It is. Yes. Wonderful. My flame is roaring. And there's an odor wafting in from beyond. Is that fresh baked bread? Huh. Usually such an irresistible smell, but not this time. There are 12 lost souls still hidden on this island, and I think we've just uncovered one more. Yay! The fire seems brighter. You are now a scout rank 6. Perfect. Let's go ahead and head down here to Captain. See what he's got going on down here. I remember a story from the old days. Bring me some paper in a bottle and I, I'll preserve it. 
Ja, it was near three skulls tied to stakes. One of the imps has it. Chase them. Paper. It was near a folding chair behind something. Okay. Oh, wow. We expanded a long way. A relic of the Forgotten Empire, its mystical light keeps nature at bay, creates space for civilized construction. Okay. Near a folding chair. Oh, here's one. I'm not really sure where the folding chairs are. Hmm. Oh, is it you? It was near a folding chair behind something. Okay, so I'm still looking for this folding chair one. So let's go ahead and see if by chance I can find it. I'm not even sure where a folding chair is. I honestly do not know. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can harvest this tree. Okay, so it says it's near the folding chair behind something. Is there another folding chair? I do not know. Oh, I see a piece of paper. Ah! Oh, here's the folding chair, okay. All right, so is it gonna give me a hint for this last one? Cause I have no idea. Maybe I'll also buy a supply shelf. Try checking the grass piles by a supply shelf. Okay, so that automatically makes me assume it's over here, but I'm probably wrong. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, just sort of running into things here. A supply shelf. Some leaves. Well, definitely not those leaves. I will go to that spirit here momentarily. I just want to finish this one. Like I said, I feel like supply shelf, I just sort of think of over here by Jeremy.
So I'm not seeing any leaves. Oh, right here. <laughs> I thought that was a bush the whole time. God, oh, goodness me. Okay. We got it. It's okay. We made it. Thank you. I'll, I'll write down my story and cast it into the sea. The mystery of who will read it is as interesting as the story itself. Yay. Ooh. All right. I want to donate something to the collection. We're going to go ahead and donate. This is one of the nicest ways to get some coins or... Um, different quartz gemstones and things like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Luckily we only have a few. All right. And let's do, I think I've got what, one more? Six thousand old coins. Oh my goodness. Thirty quartz gemstones. Wow, that must have been a good one he gave me, and I just gave it right back to him. That's okay. Okay. So now, oh, I got a, another coin here. So now we have this new spirit. We are going to go see who this is. really excited no I don't want you I want this this guy here oh wow Allison Fisher oh wow they told me there was a new kid in town but they didn't tell me you were so fashionable oh was she a fashionista that outfit really brings out your eyes. Oh, thank you. I'm Allison Fisher, your local baker bear, by the way. Pleased to meet you, bright eyes. I love the little nicknames they give you. Pleased to meet you, too. It's not every day that I get to meet a new Cozy Grove resident. I think we should celebrate with some red velvet cupcakes. What do you say? Uh, yes. Pfft. Red velvet is, like, my favorite. Thank you. Now let me see, where's my recipe book? Sheesh, it's gone missing again. Now I know what you're thinking. Come on, you're a baker, just improvise. Red velvet's a tricky mix though. I think the red comes from beets, but it might be ketchup. Sure, ketchup, let's go with that. Too bad I used my last bottle on yesterday's cherry pie. If you find any of the red stuff lying around, let me know. I'll pay you back in delicious cupcakes. Ketchup. I think I spotted it near a skull tied to a stake behind something. If I remember correctly, I, isn't that on the beach somewhere? I received a walnut. Okay, let's go check the beach. I feel like it was there. Okay. I always do that. I run into that rock. Oh, maybe not. There is a skull, but it's not tied to a stake. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I did find a ketchup, though. Well, that was just luck, I think. A skull tied to a stake. Is that over here? I honestly have no idea. Okay, so let's see if we can find it. I honestly, I feel like I've seen it. I just really don't remember where it's at. <laughs> a skull tied to a stake. That's not it, is it? Hmm. 
Right, I'm assuming it's the same, whoops, hint. I think I spot it near a skull tied to a stake behind something. I honestly have no idea where that is. <laughs> oh wait. Is it here? No. Most definitely not. But there's a skull tied to a stake, sort of. But I don't see it over there. Hmm. Well, here's some leaves. I don't think there's one down here, but there very well could be. And I just don't know it yet. All right, what about these? I don't think it's in any of these. Hmm. <laughs> This is like most of the game is just trying to remember where your things are so you can find these quicker. But yeah, I just, I'm struggling here on There's some coins. Let's go ahead and grab the machete. I know I've been seeing a lot of these, so. Let's see. Hmm. Are you sure it's not back here? <laughs> Behind something. I don't think it's back here though. Maybe it's back here in this unexplored land. Wowzers. Oh my gosh, I just, I just, okay, here, here's the skull. Behind something. Where or oh where could it be? Okay, let's see 
We've got to be close, right? Um, let's grab the pickaxe. Sure, that's not going to help me at all, but hey, we're gonna go for it. Oh, wowzes. Okay. That's not really what I wanted, but that's okay. Oh, why harvest? Okay, it's gotta be in this like general area. Ooh, is this it maybe? No. <laughs> like I've gotta be close, right? Behind something. What is this? A skull on a stake. Oh, there it is. It blended in with that tree. Goodness. Okay. What's the last one? It was close to a tall stump. Look for a pile of skulls. Why are they always by the skulls? Okay. So let's find a pile of skulls near tall trunks. All right, let's see if it's over here somewhere. I honestly don't think it's over here. Okay, a pile of skulls. That's not really a pile. When I think of pile, I think of this over here, like a pile of skulls. But I don't think it's over here, since we already found one of them over here. Oh, here we go. Pile of skulls, tall trunks. Oh, is it like in the pile? Oh, it is in the pile. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's go take this back. We found all the ketchup bottles. Yay! You found some ketchup. Way to go, bright eyes. While you were out looking, I tracked down my recipe book. It was under a stack of mystery novels. Can't believe how many mystery no novels I read last year. <laughs> Anywho, I now know how to make red velvet cupcakes. But bad news, apparently the recipe calls for flour and sugar and no ketchup. I'll need to place a special order, but come back soon and I'll bake you something delicious, okay? Yay. Woohoo. All right. Oh, look at it. Oh, little bakery area. It's so cute. And I love this. Like, it's so close to my house, which is not a good thing. <laughs> okay. 
Let's give Fellini a log. Delicious. How many do we need now? Only six more logs. I don't sense any more logs out there today. You should check back tomorrow. I had a feeling. Okay. Let's grab this. Is that not what he wants? I don't know what he wants. I can't tell what that is. Okay, so what if I did a mushroom? Oh, no thanks. Let's split that. I don't want to make that many. Let's try this. I don't know if that's the right thing. Oh, that might be. It looked really similar. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yay. We're going to pet him. Oh, look. He's so happy now. Yay. Uh, make sure there's no more essence coming from him. And there isn't. Oh, yay. Okay. Well, that looks like that is about it. Like usual, I will be doing things around the island. Um, and yeah, I will be back for another gameplay video of Cozy Grove. Thank you again for watching. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.